find out what's in the, uh, on the property. So in Florida, we're what's called a notice state. So anytime you have an interest in the property, it's got to be recorded in the clerk's office. So when you get a deed or a mortgage, we take it, we walk it down to the clerk's office, and we stamp it in. If you just got a deed, bought somebody's house, and you never filed it, you'd have a problem. Because although you've taken delivery of that deed, you haven't properly perfected your interest. So what we do is we run a search. We go down to the clerk's office, and we look, and we see what's there. So that will tell us if there's any paid taxes on the property that you're buying, any mortgage liens outstanding, any judgments against your seller because judgment liens attach on the property, what easements there are out there, any other court actions or recorded documents uh, which can affect the title to the real estate. Accordingly, title insurance protects you against those items that are recorded that we can actually see in the public records. But it also protects you against hidden items because title insurance not only uh, protects against things that are recorded, but it also protects against hidden, th hidden things. For example, the deed that you get from your seller when you go to buy a house, they sign the deed, it tells us that that deed was validly executed, it had two subscribing witnesses, like it's supposed to by law, it ensures that, it ensures that it was properly notarized, it ensured that your seller was of sound mind, wasn't under duress when he executed it, so they can't come back and say, oh, you know, I, I you know, I, it, people were putting pressure on me and I, I signed that under duress, so I want the property back. So it ensures you against all of these things that aren't shown in the title, there's hidden, hidden items. So, um, how does title insurance protect you against these dangers? Well, it's like any other kind of insurance. You uh, file a claim. If something comes up, uh, for example, they never paid the mortgage off for some reason. Your seller's lender never released their lien mm -hmm. on the property, or maybe there was uh, they didn't pay their homeowners' dues, and there was a lien. You went in and you owed money from the prior seller. So defend the title underwriter who issues your policy defends your title in court if necessary. So they'll go to court at the at their expense to clean, cleanse your title. If they do that and they can't cleanse the title, then they'll write a check for the diminution of value up to what you paid for. So you get title insurance for the amount of your purchase price. So it's very important to, to uh, uh, understand it. So why should you get title insurance? Well, Number one, if there's an undisclosed claim covered by your policy that arises out of the past, and we search title up to the day that you, you bought the property. So if anything's in the past that arises, it'll either be disposed of, as I told you, or they're going to write you a check. Um, title insurance is not like health insurance or auto insurance. It's paid once. The premium is paid because it insures title through the date of your closing. So it's paid once. Never paid again. You got it. You put it in your safe, and uh, and you have it. But the most important reason to get title insurance is in Central Florida, it's customary for the seller to pay for your title insurance because they're responsible under your standard contract to provide you with that. So you don't even pay for it. Now. Um, when you close on a piece of property, you get under contract, the seller's obligated to give you a title insurance commitment. That commitment is basically a contract that says, here's what has to happen for us to give you your title policy. 90% of the people don't ever look at that. You should hire somebody to look at that. Um, a realtor cannot give you legal advice. Um, if you've got an attorney, family, friend, to look at your title policy, because like any insurance policy, a title policy will have exceptions. So it's important for you to have somebody uh, to look at that, make sure, first of all, that you're getting that, that it's been delivered to you, and that you've got your title insurance. Because the most important thing, your biggest investment, is your home, and you 
You want to make sure, it's just like when you buy a car, you want to make sure that nobody else owns it, nobody else has got to lean on it, uh, and that you and you have it. When you go to sell that, um, there may not ever be a problem once you buy it, but when you go to sell it, that's typically when the problem arises. So, uh, hopefully, I hit the under. I didn't see anybody fall asleep. And if there's any questions, I gave it to you as, as generally as I could. Um, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions. One thing I do want to go off of on that is that the bank also requires title kind of insurance. Because not only does it protect you, it also protects the bank as well. And in addition to having someone from the outside looking at it, we're also examining the title as well. And there are things that we will not close on if they're on title. Whenever you get a loan, there's what's called a federally related loan. A federally related loan is a loan that uh, is sold, it's, it's conformed to Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. And if you get one of those types of loans, which 99% of you will, the lender has to have title insurance to sell those loans. I showed you how important title insurance is. Another lender will not buy that loan unless it has a title policy. We're going to take questions at the end, but next up we have Steve Dellum. I focus on the insurance guy. Last, last guy you get to speak to is on there as quick as I can. Yeah. Um, first of all, all the information you're being given tonight, it seems like it's insurmountable. It's not. It's one step at a time. So don't, don't try to take it all in. Talk to your banker or your realtor one step at a time. You've got a neighborhood that you want to live in. Drive through the neighborhood, find out where you want to live, see a house, call your realtor. It's fairly simple. When you are driving through the neighborhood, there's a couple of things that you need to think about that affect the insurance, drives the costs. Uh, age of the house, what it's made out of, construction, concrete block, spring, how old it is. Location to the, to the extent that you, you need to be aware of the fact that if you buy a house and it's closer to the coast, it's going to cost more money to insure it. Um, if you get into a scenario where you have to buy wind coverage, you can only get it from the state, it dramatically increases your insurance coverage. There are other areas of the state where Central Florida, everybody watched the news, uh, the sinkhole today, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Well, that's Sinkhole, catastrophic ground collapse, although they keep you refer to the word sinkhole, that's not what's going to fix a house. So a big hole opens up and the house falls in. Mm -hmm. We'll give you a more detailed explanation about that if and when the time comes. Um, I'm going to leave some of my cards here. Um, if you have questions, if you go through a neighborhood and you're looking at different houses and you want to kind of get an idea of what a house uh, costs to insure, pick up the phone and call us. We don't have to know what the house is selling for. We don't have to know who's buying, who's selling. All we need is an address. With the address, we go into the county records. We can get all the information we need to give you a rate. We can do it over the phone. It takes about 10 minutes. You can take that information, kind of absorb it, gives you an idea. When you talk to your mortgage broker, and you're, you're going to get some qualifying factors, how much money you can afford to spend, where is your insurance pricing going to be, those are all numbers that go into a formula to determine whether or not you qualify to buy the house. Insurance is one of those things. So you need to you need to shop. If you have a um, everybody's got auto insurance, right? So everybody's got you're supposed to have. Um, if you do, you probably have an agent. More than likely, he probably sells property insurance. So. <coughs> If you have a good relationship with him and you know him, call him, get a rate. Hopefully you don't have a good relationship with him and you'll call me. <laughs> <laughs> my agency is a family-owned agency, so if you call my number, you either get me or you get my wife of 38 years or you get one of my daughters. I don't have clerical staff in my office that just take a phone call and a number and say, we'll call you back. We don't do that. We can get a rate turned around to you within 10 or 15 minutes. Keep in mind that the buying price of a house doesn't necessarily correspond with the insurance value. In today's market, we've got so many houses that are 
I think they were using the term short sales, bank owned properties, foreclosures, things like that. So essentially you're buying homes, in some cases, for less than what they can be reproduced for. So keep in mind that when you go to insure it, the insurance company's responsibility is not to just fix it if it gets broken. If it's destroyed, their responsibility is to rebuild it. So they don't care what you paid for. They only care what it's going to cost them out of their pocket to rebuild. That's the insurable value. These guys back here with the inspection, this is really, really important. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many people that I've tried to insure houses and, and, and you know, they make down payments on houses or they, they've made a deposit or they've got really involved in it only to find out that the house is almost uninsurable. These guys can tell you whether or not there's an electrical system in that house that's uninsurable. And car houses in Central Florida that have aluminum wiring, very difficult. But they'll tell you if it's in that house. They'll also tell you if there's an electrical <coughs> panel in that house that's completely uninsurable. You could buy the house and go to close it. We get the report back after the fact. We find out that it's got an electrical panel in it that's it's outlawed. You can't use it. The insurance company has a legal right within 60 days to terminate your policy. They'll get off the risk. They have to do it in the first 60 days. They will do it if they find out there's a problem with the house. Aluminum wiring is one of those problems. Try to stay away from those houses. Federal Pacific, Sylvania panel, okay. two panels. They have a lot they don't make them anymore. They're a, a, a real problem for house fires. You need to know that. If you have to have one of those panels replaced after the fact, it's a thousand dollars. Easy. If not more. So cause. The shape of the roof makes a big difference in price, the age of the house, what it's made out of, where it's located, how much coverage you need, your deductibles. And if you go to another agent and you ask him for a quote, once he gives you the quote, Ask him what's not covered. Don't ask, okay, do I have coverage for this or do I have coverage for that? I will tell you there's some agents, I'm not pointing fingers, but there are some agents that will quote you a policy that's stripped of coverages. And the price will look attractive. Maybe you save $100 or $200. <laughs> but the time to have the conversation about what it covers is not after you have the claim. It's before you buy the policy. So you ask that agent what's not covered. Very important, okay? And make sure that you get an inspection from these guys. It's very important. And more often than not, the realtor can be a tremendous help in this. They know what to look for. They've done it before a thousand times. They know what to stay away from. They know what creates problems for your life. Yeah. Is there an additional inspection that they can do that can get a discount on insurance? Well, the windmill was right on the money. If the house is over and nothing's been done, don't don't let some inspection company talk you into to buying a windmill for $125, $150. And they all use the same term. Well, let me give you a windmill. It costs $125, and oh, you can just save a ton of money with the insurance company. Well, if the house is older and it hasn't been updated, there's no changes to the roof or anything else in the house. The only thing a windmill does is cost you $125. It's not going to do anything else. So these guys know what they're talking about. I have people call me all the time, say, Steve, I got a windmill now I send it in. <laughs> well, I'll look at it, but you know, I'm not the one that makes the rules. And if the windmill doesn't help you, you just wasted your money. So don't do it unless they think it's a good idea. A lot of the older houses that you buy, 35, 45, 50 years old, and a lot of those are desirable to some people. I'm not telling you to stay away from them, but when they do the inspection, any house that's older than about 35 years old, the insurance companies are going to require a four-point inspection. It's four points. He's going to have the information contained in his inspection that will tell us what we want to know. We can't use his report with an insurance company. His report is designed to tell you <coughs> what's wrong with the house. We don't want the insurance company to know that. Okay? You have to understand I'm on your side. When you talk to me and you tell me things, I will run and tell the insurance company, oh, guess what? This house got a problem. I work with you to figure out how we get it done. 
So the only thing that we want the insurance companies to see, and I write for 30 different companies, so I can insure just about anything, as long as it's still standing. <laughs> um, the only thing they want to know about, the roof, the electrical, the heating and the air conditioning, and the plumbing. They want to know that they're all functioning, that they're all working good. Plumbing doesn't sound like a big deal, but i got to tell you something. If you leave to go home, or you leave to go to work and you come home in the evening, and you've got a water line that's developed a leak, it, it's a big problem, and it's really expensive. I've literally had people that have come home, and the house was full of water up to the windowsills. And, and it's expensive to fix those types of things. So plumbing's a big issue. A lot of people say, well, it's an old house. There's nothing wrong with it. What can go wrong? Blah, blah, blah. The biggest problem for claims for insurance companies is not hurricanes, it's not tornadoes, it's not major catastrophe storms, it's plumbing leaks, it's electrical problems, it's the little things that eat the companies up. <laughs> so again, use these guys, don't make a mistake, take their advice, take the information, digest it. If you need a quote, any address, all I need is a street address. You call me and tell me where the house is, we can have a rate for you. In 10 or 15 minutes, we can pull all the information. I can go right down and look at the house on the street. We can get all the information. It's a simple process. And we'll do the best we can for you and get you the best price. It may not always be the cheapest, <coughs> but you'll know what you buy. And we're, we're always going to be competitive, okay? But again, if you go to another agent, once you get a price, what do you ask them? What's, What's the not covered? You don't want to find out after the house burns down. Okay? Thank you very much. That's all I have for you, really. We got Drew that's coming back. So I think he's going to wrap things up. If you'd like to have a card, I've got a letter on the desk. Please take one. If you have any questions, just give me a shout. Uh, listen, folks, I appreciate you coming out here. We have uh, five more rounds we're going to go. I want to give uh, some closing statements there. By the way, if we could please give a hand of applause for the folks that volunteered your time. took you guys from the very beginning processes, even if it was just a thought in your mind, you had a dream last night, you thought for the first time in your life you want to buy a home, and then or wherever you want to cross it, we took you from the very beginning to the very end, and I, I can't overstate this enough, um, but all of this stuff that we covered in this very short amount of time, well, it's only been an hour and 15 minutes, I know it's felt like five days, but it's only been an hour and 15 minutes, but we've literally crammed what would normally, in, in, a, in a home buying process, can take upwards to six months. We put all of that together, we put all of the people in the room that you would be running around with, like a chicken with the head cut off, trying to find, um, and we put them all here for you. Please do not miss this opportunity to ask them questions, if there was anything that was floating around your head, it doesn't matter if it makes half a sense. All you need to do is bring it to these guys, talk to these guys, ask them, you know, have that dialogue. Everyone here has their business cards, they have their phone numbers, you can reach them, you can find them, and, and, uh, and, and ask them more. Um, again, we're here from Mimo Harris, uh, myself, uh, Christy Ford, Steve Sprinkles, the branch manager of the downtown location branch, I'm a banker there as well. Um, but we're with Mimo Harris, we're there, you can sit in our office anytime you want. Uh, this is Jacob Zampella. And he is a realtor, and he anytime you need to meet him, Phil Logos, again, with the names here. Uh, Phil Logos is, uh, does the, the title insurance. He also has a law firm there as well. Um, and we have Mike and Joe who stepped out. And these guys are our home inspectors. They will meet you wherever you are. They'll come uh, have coffee with you at your own house or, or probably wherever you're at. Um, and then we have Steve Dellinger again um, there, and he is our uh, homeowner insurance guy. But like I said, like he was saying, you know, it's a family-run business kind of deal. We want to bring uh, into this place folks that would be an asset to you. Um, every single one of these people that are here today, I handpicked myself along with our staff here. We all had a consensus on because we wanted to make sure that we were going to bring people in here that you could trust that you can talk to, that would be straight shooters with you. I think that you can find that through their conversation and through their presentations, they've been very straight and honest. This is the kind of service you will get from them. This is the kind of service you'll get from us. Uh, uh, once again, and I don't know if uh, Debbie's still in here, but we want to thank the Concord staff for allowing us to be here today. 
they made this all possible. Um, you guys, raise your hand if you do live in Northbridge. I think that's pretty much everybody here. Okay, you guys, your your management staff here is amazing. I just want you to know that they really do care about you. I mean, they're giving away half a month's rent for free for you guys just for showing up. Um, they uh, are throwing away the big ticket item here at the end of this as well. Um, but just so you know that they're they're here for you and they'll care about you. They have our contact information. Um, I'm just going to do a quick poll in the room. Uh, raise your hand if you are currently actively trying to find a home to purchase. Raise your hand as of this year or the next six months. Okay. Now raise your hand. Okay. Raise your hand within six months, up to six months. Okay. Raise your hand if you if in the next two years you're looking at owning a home. Okay. Raise your hand if in the next five years you're looking at owning a home. Last question goes without saying, but raise your hand if you don't want to own a home. Everybody? Um, everybody? Everybody's, Christy's trying to find me a house right now. Like she's like, she's giving me the house. Um, again, you know, you know, take it back from there. We really want to bring you through this. Um, anything you need, come find us. Um, you can you can speak to Debbie or you can speak to Renee. I believe is the uh, the manager for this property. They have all our contact information. If you forget this crazy face right here or anybody in the room, they will point you in the right direction. We'll get you there. Um, please stay around. We have more food. We have more raffle prizes. Steve's going to come up with that. And again, we have Q and A at the end here. If you have any questions, come find us. We'll stay in the room until you uh, head home. So. Thank you. All right, here we go. All right, we're checking our notes. Millennium Law gift card. I'm doing one of this time. 
Hmm. How about 
Have a good night. Thank you. Hey, listen, you guys have your uh, survey. Uh, survey. Can you show them out the ones with the numbers on it? Right here. I'm collecting them as well. Take them here. There is still lots of food back there. I know we stole your dinner for you guys, so grab some food on the ground. Grab some food on the ground. Grab some food on the ground. Grab
Thank you.